talking about next out, yo, yo, yo. Mic check, mic check. What's kicking, family? I'm glad you've uh, clicked in so I can check in with you. All right, this is about the NBA playoffs. It's getting rough and rugged down there. I'm still looking at an L.A. K Cleveland Cavalier finals with the Cavaliers coming out on top due to the fact that they look like they've got the home field advantage, home court advantage throughout the entire playoffs for the finals once the Cavaliers and Lakers get there. But before we get there, it's getting rough and rugged in the NBA. Look, I mean, if you wasn't carted off and, and with a neck brace and a stretcher, then the foul was a good one. Okay, first let's start with uh, Rajah Rondo on the big dude going down the lane for Chicago who should have went for a dunk. But, man, when that happened, yo, that was, I hate to say it, Shades of Patrick Ewing against the Pacers. Instead of going for a dunk, he went for a finger roll. I know he's not no George Gervin because you know what George Gervin always says. Everybody can dunk, but not everybody can finger roll. So I think that gentleman from Chicago thought he could finger roll from the foul line. And then Roger Rondo came over and gave a hard foul. Short guy. The kids are seven-footer for Chicago. Unless Rajah Rondo was in a better position to jump up there and try and block the shot. Man, that was a hard foul across the mug piece. They didn't call the flagrant foul. And he only hit one end of the two-shot foul. And that was the end of the story for them. Come on, man. You are supposed to close out the Celtics when you have such a lead like that. That was your fault. And then if you look for the referees to help you out, you've got the game in your hands. Guess what? The referees are going to make sure that the game is decided on the court instead of some crazy foul with no time remaining. And, you know, I mean, unless it was blatant, outright, you know, type of deal, then fine. Right now, hey. No flagrant foul on Roger Rondo. My man lost a tooth. He only hit one foul shot. Chicago had a lead. They should have protected it. Sorry. You guys would have been done a long time ago if KJ, KG, uh, uh, was, if Kevin Garnett was a little bit healthy. And let me, let me throw in this tidbit, folks. Ain't it kind of strange? He ain't heard too much about Stephon Marbury. Stephon Marbury right now is having the last laugh on the Knicks due to the fact that he was able to, um, Get to a playoff round. Go to the playoffs. You haven't heard a peep from this guy. Not one from him. He comes in. He gets his minutes. That's it. He's still getting his money. He's going about his business. That's what happens when, you know, a ball player gets to be a certain age and he gets to, he wants that ring. All the money, all the MVPs, all the play of the years, anything that a player like that has accumulated and doesn't have a ring. When they get to the last three years of their career, put all that aside, they want that ring. Now let's move on to Dwight Howard, Superman. The guy who's been having the crazy double-doubles since in the playoffs. And they said uh, some kind of stat, uh, the most double-doubles in the playoffs for his first 20 playoff games since Moses Malone. Fo fo fo. Remember that? Once the 76ers got Moses Malone and he said fo fo fo. Actually, it was fo five fo. Or was it five four four? One and two. He said four four four, <laughs> and they only missed it by one game. Dwight Howard, wow! It looks like you're not gonna be you're not gonna be playing in that uh, sixth game. That elbow, they're gonna review that. He's gonna get the hook. That's for sure. Come on, man. I mean, hey, I mean, it's that elbow to the mug piece. You gone. You gone. They're gonna review that and they're gonna give you the hook. What was you thinking? You got your game to another level here, where you know we haven't seen stuff uh, being performed like that since the days of Chamberlain and Russell and Moses Malone. And then you're gonna go, but I guess in the heat of the battle, you threw the elbow. Sorry, you got. You're gonna have to sit that one. So for all of you fans out there who said that, oh, they should have called this foul, they should have called that foul, let's take one thing into consideration here. The NBA will review all these plays. Hey, what did my man Stan Van Gundy say? Hey, what am I here to do? Am I here to uh, lobby and politic for the next set of calls? It's not going to happen. They review all the calls. And everything is under discretion up underneath the big cheese, David Stern. And they're trying to, you know, uh, bring some integrity to the game. 
Look, it's like this. The games haven't been that exciting. It's almost like an afterthought for me because I'm waiting for the Lakers Cavs finals. But right now, it's been getting juicy and interesting. So this is Mr. Batch. Hopefully, your team is doing real good. Peace. Yeah. You want the truth? Can you handle the truth? Yeah. I'm about to give it to you.